It's September 27th and a uh, beautiful day. I'm at Riverview Park and getting ready to paddle over to Black Point. That's that far, far bunch of mangroves way out there behind me. And uh, check out the seagrass, see what's going on out there. So we're back at Black Point. We put the cameras down and we took a good look around. The good news is the water was clear. I mean, it's been blowing quite a bit here lately and I really expect, expected the water to be a little bit more cloudy, but it was good to see because the uh, seagrass definitely, definitely needs the sunlight and able to grow. But the one thing, the one thing that really uh, disappointed me was the lack of seagrass. I mean, a month ago, it was, uh, water's been a little bit dirty. Did see some manatees. I was kind of worried with the hurricane season coming up. We had a, you know, a couple storms go by us, nothing that really hit us. But we did get like a record amount of rainfall in August. And it did what I was afraid it was going to do, was take all these canals, ditches, and everything else where they've been spraying the Roundup and basically take all that Roundup and uh, weed killers and flush it out into the lagoon, in which case kills the seagrass. Now, is that what happened? I can't say for sure. I do know, too, the manatees have been out here. Last time I was out here, it was dirty, it was blowing, but I could see the, the uh, quite a few manatees out here eating on what was left of the seagrass. So, is it manatees? Is it weed killer? Is it something natural in the environment? Well, I got my theories, you know, and I think you all know what it is. I do believe that the, the weed killers that we are using inland do get flushed out and has an effect on here. But we need science to prove it. I mean, that's just a theory is what I think. And, um, but I'm seeing more and more science being done. I do have some ideas that um, I believe will prove it one way or the other. And uh, I'm not going to say what they are now, but uh, I am working on them. So Black Point looks pretty bare. End of September. I don't know what's going to happen the rest of the year. It's it's hard to say, but I will be out here next month and see if we can see any kind of improvement. I think as long as we got the uh, clear water, sunlight gets to it, maybe something will start growing again. But uh, doesn't look too good out here at Black Point off Sebastian. So uh, if you like this, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, been a little slack on my videos, but I'm going to be start putting more and more out here. So um, really do appreciate it and. Uh, this is Pete Hank. Till next time. Thank you.